I, I think the message to people really is that you're always better off knowing about something than not knowing about something. Uh, I think if you know about something, as they say, you can manage it, you know. I think the idea of putting your head in the sand has never really worked out well for anybody in the past that I can remember. So never be afraid to find out what's going on. Um, so from that point of view, I think it's for men to kind of face up and realise that as they get into their mid-40s and beyond that, that uh, the diagnosis of prostate cancer unfortunately does enter the realm. The nice thing about it is that unlike other cancers, we have a simple blood test and we have a very accurate scan as well. And, uh, and that can, for many men, that can provide a lot of reassurance and comfort, just those simple tests. Um, obviously for some men, we need to take things a little further, um, but, you know, but uh, I think diagnosis and treatment have moved on enormously in the last number of years. Unfortunately, some people give out the advice to men that they should wait for symptoms to develop and then attend their doctors. But that's, that's to, in our mind, that's absolutely crazy. So, um, so the key is really is to, is to start to engage early on with your GP. The recommendations now are that men in their mid 40s to early, late 40s should start engaging. You know, your general health has to be um, taken seriously as we get to that point in our lives. But it's clearly from my point of view, the prostate is key and it can be simply included on a blood test when a man's getting his cholesterol checked or other blood tests done. It's much smarter to at least assess and see what's going on rather than to ignore what could potentially be a serious problem.